I'm back with another video and if you did notice from the picture my little thumbnail or from the first few seconds of this video I've done something a little bit different I got color in my hair I got a blonde patch so I'm really excited about it I'm very happy with the results um I'm gonna insert a picture probably about right here my senior year of college I decided I wanted to do something different and so I got a patch and I had it initially like in the front left part of my hair and I did it myself I would not recommend anyone doing it the way I did I did like use like a box color and kept doing it until I got the color I like but then once I got my first big girl job I decided you know let's go all back one color and so that was about maybe two or three years ago going on three years now and recently I've always missed my patch but you know I thought you know I'll get it again someday but you know not in the front where it's so blatant you know I was just feeling like it's time it's time so uh I went home and I went to my hairdresser that I normally go to when I'm home and she gave me this lovely pack. I really like the color and she did use bleach. Dun, dun, dun. But you know what? That's another reason why I'm segueing into this video. I'm letting you guys know about, you know, my new little journey with this color. You've heard, I'm sure, horror stories about blonde patches or dyeing your hair with bleed. So I can't say I wouldn't, I wasn't, you know, a little concerned myself, but you know, I know I take good care of my hair, so I think I'll be okay. Which leads me to the topic of today's video, which is one of the few key things that even when I'm talking to other naturals, when they ask me questions or when you hear about people who have damage, normally it's from a lack of moisture in your hair. And once your hair gets dry, it starts to break off. It's just not as strong if it doesn't have that adequate moisture. So today I'm going to give you about how many do I have here? I have four deep conditioners that I use and then I have another product that I'm going to go into. Every time I talk to, you know, whether it be the older person or a younger person, they're asking me, you know, troubleshooting with me about problems with their hair. I, the first thing I always ask is, do you deep condition? And I'm honestly surprised at how many people say no, like, what? I'm telling y'all it's one of the keys to success is making sure that you know each week I try to do it weekly but if you can even get it in either every other week or you just you know incorporate into your routine taking that time to put that moisture back in your hair you know we're just getting away from old man winter and you know when you, the weather is changing or when it's cold outside it's even harder to retain that moisture so you just definitely got to put you got to put it in there girls and guys you just got to have that you know and it can be a lot at times you know but natural hair is a lot what I try to do is if I'm washing on maybe say I've designated Saturday as wash day I'll even you know detangle my hair that Friday night before and sleep in the deep conditioner which might not be everyone's preference but I just have to find ways to incorporate it in my routine so that I'm sure that I'm getting those deep conditioners so enough of all that talk we're gonna get into my favorite deep conditioners as you all know I love Shea Moisture so so I'm gonna start with more so like the very thick conditioners that I have and the really I feel like the really deep the extra deep ones that get in there I also just want to mention that I use these to deep condition even though they might not all be technically claimed as deep conditioners so let's just hop into it I'm gonna stop talking the first one I have is the one from my very first video if you have not seen that go look at it appreciate you this is the super fruit complex 10 in 1 renewal system with marula oil and biotin and it's a hair max but I use it to deep condition and this is by Shea Moisture if you haven't already guessed it and let's just go through some of the um, what it has so it has a super fruit complex which is a blend of red raspberry ketones goji acai guava extract it has marula oil in it which contains a natural plant peptide that helps support hair elasticity and biotin nourishes individual strands for thicker stronger hair I love this one particularly one it smells amazing it smells so good that when Shea Moisture had us out I went and got the soap that is like this it just smells that good one and then two it makes your hair feel buttery and you can I detangle with it often and then go into deep conditioning when I'm rinsing my hair out to begin washing my hair I already feel like you know my hair has been moisturized I can feel like the moisture in my hair so I think this is a good one and you guys should check it out my next one that's like 
a winter one I would say or a deep one is another one that I mentioned which was the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Purification Mask with tea tree oil and willow bark extract for dry itchy scalp and it also says dandruff eczema psoriasis and psoriasis so all of those things you know some of us struggle with and in the winter I personally have like an itchy scalp like right here in the front it'll get really dry really itchy real growth I use this I incorporate this during like the winter months so let's read this up it says tea tree oil and I use tea tree oil as well to put like in my shampoo and things like that so that's good it helps with the dryness it has a plantain enzyme in it to help calm itching and irritation and willow bark extract and that exfoliates and detoxifies hair and scalp so that's good to know I'm actually like you know I just try these out but to actually read and know what they're doing to detoxify your hair and scalp that sounds good to me and like I said I use this mostly in the winter because I get a dry scalp and it really helps keep it at bay I use this one and I also use the shampoo with it the next one I'm gonna go into is another Shea Moisture one but I really like this one I use this once it gets starts to get hot and once it gets more humid this one as you can see comes in a bigger what's up with that Shea Moisture this one comes in a bigger container than the mask but then again I will say this is Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Grow and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. So this is a leave-in one and I sometimes, you know, use it as a leave-in but then at times too. I kind of flip-flop with everything. I never really follow directions. I just do what's best or what's working for me. You know what I'm saying? So this one has shea butter, peppermint, and keratin. And it's nat for natural, chemically processed, color treated, or heated style hair. So this seems like to be your one-stop shop here and I like it because if I'm gonna open it and pull some out but it has it also smells good but it has like a I don't know okay if you saw that it has a very not thick consistency these masks are kind of like when you pull them out they're like glumps but this is more runny I should say and it helps me manipulate my hair well and it's light enough in the summertime where I can still get the moisture I need without my hair being bogged down if that makes sense. In the wintertime, I just want to get the moisture. I don't care how. I don't care. And then normally, I would say Shea Moisture really doesn't bog your hair down, but I like this one for the spring and when it starts to get humid outside, it's a good one to, you know, use. This one has organic shea butter, which deeply moisturizes while conditioning the hair and scalp. It has Jamaican black castor oil, which is loaded with reparative omegas that promote healthy hair growth and peppermint which stimulates the scalp for an invigorating experience okay all these these descriptions are so you know capturing <laughs> and as usual you know shea moisture has no bad things and it. it has no sulfates no parabens no words some words that i cannot uh, pronounce but if i can't pronounce it i probably should be putting in my hair should i my last one so you guys won't think you know i'm sponsored by shea moisture i have to put an oldie but goodie in here but if Shea Moisture does want to give me a call, y'all, let them know. I said, hey, I'm their biggest fan, all that good stuff, okay? But my last one is uh, not Shea Moisture. It is by Eden Body Works. And it's an all-natural deep conditioner with jojoba manoy. So this one doesn't really have, like, the descriptions like this one is. But I will say I've had this forever, but... There's only, a, if, I don't know if you can tell, but there's only a little bit in there. And that's because I went to, I think I got this while I was in college too. And I went to a natural hair ex, extravaganza or exposium, symposium, something like that. And I got this from one of my natural hair sisters, my line sister, Courtney, told me that, you know, she had heard about it. So I figured I'd give it a try. And I did like it. I just, it was just one of those things where I'm so used to grabbing for Shea Moisture that once they got low, I'm just like, okay, cool. But I will say this one is a thicker one. So this would definitely be like a winter one for me. Now that I do have this patch, I'm definitely going to be focused on this one section to make sure that you know. I was lucky enough where I didn't really lose any, like my curl pattern, not from what I've seen so far. I've had it for a week now and when she put it in, um, it was fine. And when she did my hair, it was fine. And when I washed my hair, 
it you know didn't seem like it lost too much curl pattern so I was very excited about that so I want to keep my hair as healthy as possible so I'm going to make sure I focus that even in the summertime I might use some of the heavier ones to ensure that this colored hair is you know well conditioned so those were all my conditioners and the my top five like favorite I would say so far and then I have this last product it is Shea Moisture's <laughs> Uke and Plantain Anti-Breakage Frizz-Free Shine Mist with Bobob, Bobob Oil. These things make me look like a idiot, y'all. And Cilantro Extract. It is for frizzy split and breaking hair, moisturize control, and boost shine. This is something I picked up when uh, Shea Moisture was having, I think Walgreens was like having a buy one get one free sale. So I was like, well, let's try it all, okay? And you know... This is Seventh Day Hair. I'm sorry guys that I couldn't come to you with the freshest of the fresh, but it's been a long week and I just threw this up into my little trendy top knot. I use this, what I found is that when I do wear my wash and goes, I like some days it looks a little frizzier and it looks a little um, drier. So I got this because I spray this on in the morning just to give it some added moisture throughout the week. So it says in this one it has yucca extract which promotes hair growth for thicker fuller hair plantain extract with rich vitamin b complex which nourishes hair with moisture and bobab bobob however you say that oil contains vitamins a d and e and f to fortify and strengthen hair so even though i can't pronounce it it's really good and that's why i love shea moisture so much guys this isn't a shea moisture ad like i bought all of these products with my own money a lot of my own money. I just love their products because they really put like things and in each and every one of these all you hear is moisture, moisture, moisture or fortifying or strengthening so I really like their products because they put moisture in your hair. Hence the shame moisture but so this is my newbie but goodie. This has become like quickly risen to the top because it's something I could just wake up and just you know do it right now just like spray some and it smells good. During the week I'm putting moisture in my hair because I don't really do too much if I'm wearing like a wash and go or like braid out routine. I kind of just get up, fluff it from whatever been like smushed from sleeping and then from there just go. So it's a good way to put that added moisture in. But those are all the products I have guys. Um, I'm gonna, you know, if I do start to have problems, I will be open with you guys and let you know because as I said, I use bleach or my hairstylist use bleach to get this color. So if you have any questions about my color, um, feel free to ask what are your color stories like do you like the patch um, I've never really been into like uh, highlights or anything I like just like that little pop of color it's still you know not my, many people notice it until like I turn around and it's still like somewhat professional and yeah I just love it I do like my patch so what kind of colors do you guys looking for going into the spring how do you take care of your color treated hair what are your favorite conditioners or what are some that I can try out because I know that you know there is more than just shea moisture so i'm gonna get into my next couple of videos just trying out different lines and different things that are out there because not every product works for every person so i want to get out there and explore for you guys i hope you guys like this video if you did i want you to like it thumbs up subscribe do all that good stuff and let me know down in the comments what you want to see i'm here for you guys and what you want to see so just let me know what's up and i will see you guys next week bye <laughs>